Hey there, this is Tyler from WTFX, and today we're looking at a couple distorts and the subtle differences between them. Let's dive in. Bend it, bend it, just a little bit of change. Have you been able to guess which effect we're talking about today? Well, despite what you see on your screen, we're not talking bulge. We've already done that video. No, this time we're talking about CC Bend It and CC Bender. Both effects are there to, well, bend an object or an image. Both are also pretty similar in how they actually apply the effect. And you may be thinking, how do I know which one I should use? And that's a great question, but it all depends on your pain tolerance and how masochistic you are. Ooh, me likey. Let's start with Bend It. As you can see, I've got a grid on the screen, and when we apply Bend It to the grid, a great deal of it has disappeared. This is because the effect, in its default settings, will not show the image past the endpoint here. This is due to the distort being set to legal. But if we change this to extended, we now get the height, but the width is still trimmed down. We can adjust this by moving the Y coordinate on the start or end points. If I slide the Y coordinates to the right, you can see that we are then able to see more of the original grid. But that's if we change the Y coordinates. When we change the X coordinates, you can see that it changes the effect to be at a slant. Bend, as you may have guessed, determines the amount of bending that will happen. A positive number bends the image in one direction, while a negative number bends it the other way. But here we encounter a problem. Part of the image is being cut off. This effect will not show what is beyond the edges of the image itself, even if it's in a pre-comp. You can see the edges of that image here with these squares. To get around this, you can put the effect on an adjustment layer, but just be aware that once that effect is on an adjustment layer, it will affect everything below it too, not just the intended layer. From here, we have the render pre-start. The render pre-start determines how to render the area before the start point here. None does not render the layer past the start point. Static keeps the layer beyond the start point, but does not bend it. Bend will bend past the start point, while mirror simply reflects the top half of the image itself. As you can see when we apply CC Bender, it's already easier than CC Bend in that it doesn't crop or change the image at all. Just as before, we have these two points here called top and base, and the effect is applied only between these two points. When I change the amount, you can see that it does bend the image between those two points, but the angle from the top point is then carried for the rest of the image. Clicking on the Style dropdown, you can see we've got a few options. Bend, the default, followed by Marilyn, Sharp, and Boxer. Marilyn keeps the areas past the top and base points unaffected while curving the areas between them. Adjusting the amount will change the severity of that curve. Sharp does the same thing, but with straight edges instead of curves. Boxer is a combination of bend and Marilyn in that it gracefully bends the area between the base and top points, like in bend, but the bend does not extend past the top or base, like in Marilyn or Sharp. To the average person, adjust to distance is more of a personal preference. When the box is not checked, the effect uses absolute values, which basically means that the computer does exactly what you tell it to by sticking to that number that you've put in the amount. Check this option, however, to use relative values, which takes the amount that you've set and changes it so it's relatively proportional to the distance of the top and base points. Whether you like the fact that there's a couple choices in plugins when you want to bend something, or how much control you have over these effects, I think there's one thing we all can agree on. Stick with CC Bender, unless you like a little pain. Thanks for watching. I am so sorry for what you just watched. See that big red subscribe button? Definitely don't click that and don't hit the bell icon either because doing either of those will let you know when we upload new content. And you see those two clips of the other videos that we made? You don't want to check those out. I just steer clear of them. I mean, you you just watch one of our videos. That's why. In fact, what you may even want to do is, is just shut down your computer. If you live near a canal or a river, maybe even take the computer and just throw it in one of them.